Hi learners, now let us deal with part 3 circles of this chapter basic geometrical ideas. Uh, friends, this, these definitions or the terms which we are learning in geometry are going to help us even in the further classes. So it is very important to understand the basic concept behind all the geometrical terms that we are learning in this chapter. Because this is these are the bricks you know through which we can uh, learn so many other concepts relate, relating to uh, different types of geometries. Like uh, in this part, we are going to learn about circles. So what are the basic ideas of circles? Let us see right from how to draw a circle. So friends, do you know what is a circle? It is a round figure, right? So if we have to draw a circle, what is the first and foremost thing that is required to draw a circle? Uh, can we just simply draw a circle? No, we will always need a center, right? So if you have to draw it on a piece of a paper, First, you have to take a center, take some distance and with that distance by using a ruler, you can just draw a circle. So, I am taking here center as O. So, your center is O here. Okay. So, center O. Right. So, from center, now if you draw a line to the circle touching any point on the circle. The circle is nothing but so many points together, right? So if you draw from center to any point on a circle, is nothing but the radius. So like here, OA. So from the center, we are drawing a line which touches a circle. So this distance, this is called radius, right friends? So you can draw in any format. If suppose this is a circle, so this is a center. So, you can draw any lines from the center. So, they will be equal. So, the distance from the center to any point on the circle will be equal, which is nothing but radius. So, these all are the radius which are going from the center and which are equidistant. Right. Now, similarly, now let us see what is a diameter. So, diameter is nothing but any line that passes from one point on a circle to the another point on the same circle but it has to pass through the center. So suppose I have taken a line here. Let me take it as some C and D. Okay. So I have drawn a line on a circle which is passing through the center O and it is passing from one point to the another point on the circle. So any point that passes through the center from one point to the another point is nothing but it is a diameter. So have you noticed one thing friends here? So a diameter if you see the radius is nothing but half of the diameter. Because radius passes from the center to some point on a circle. Whereas diameter passes from one point to the another point through the center. Right? So diameter is nothing but double the radius or you can say that radius is half of the diameter. So diameter you can write it as 2 into radius because it is double the radius or uh, you can take it as capital R here. Okay? So it is double the radius. So diameter is a point which, which is a very important uh, definition of diameter that it has to pass from one point to another point but it has to pass through the center which is very important. Now let us move towards chord. Chord is nothing but it also passes from one point to another point. So let me take this as x and y. So here chord is x, y. Okay, so you see a line segment which is passing from point x to point y. It is called a chord. So you can draw n number of chords on a circle. So what is the difference between diameter and chord? So in diameter, it passes through the center of the circle. Whereas chord, it is not necessary that it has to pass through the center of the circle. So that's why we call, so if you can draw so many chords, like suppose if this is a circle, right, you can draw any number of chords in any direction However you wish from one point to another point, it can pass through the center, it may pass through the center, it may not pass through the center. So you can draw n number of chords, that means in any number of chords you can draw on a circle from one point to another point. 
right so this is a basic difference between the diameter and the chord whereas diameter it has to pass through the center where chord need not pass through the center and it may pass through the center so diameter is called the longest chord diameter is called the longest chord because if suppose this is a circle okay now this is a center now i'm drawing chords okay so can you see friends here this chord ab suppose i'm taking it as ab ab is smaller than cd and cd is smaller than this line segment ef so ef as you are going near to the center o the length of the chord is increasing so if you go on drawing the lines at some point you know you have some let us take this pq so this is a line which is passing through the center of the circle which is called the diameter so a chord can be a diameter but uh, even a diameter can be a chord but every chord cannot be a diameter right now next similarly let us see what is an arc so what is an arc suppose in this figure i have shown in pink p and q okay so this curve is called the arc right any part of a circle any minor or major part of a circle is called the arc here so i can say that it is represented like this this is pq so this is the arc pq with a curve right now let us see what is sector and what is segment so what is the difference between sector and segment this uh, this is very important friends if you can see now we know what is an arc if we join this both points to the center suppose if we join this both points p from p to center and q to center o that is p o and o q so this area this area that is formed this is nothing but it is called the sector of this circle okay so this is a small sector of a circle suppose you have a cake a round cake and if we have cut the cake from the center and if we have removed that piece from it so that piece is nothing but the sector right friends in the same way if now what let us see what is segment segment is nothing but which it, it is related to chord sector just remember that it is related to the arc whereas segment is related to chord and sector is related to arc sometimes if we may, we, we may confuse between sector and what is a segment so this is how you can remember segment is you know related to chord and sector is related to arc like sector we have already discussed that this is the arc pq from where we have uh, joined to center and this part is called the arc now segment now let us take this chord earlier we have discussed what is a chord a chord is nothing but any for any line that is passing from one point of a circle to the another point of a circle right now this portion this area inside this you know with this this is an arc right x y we can call this is this can be an arc and this can be the line uh, chord so between this whatever the area you have this is called segment and this is called sector right friends so is it very is it is very simple how to differentiate between segment and sector this is the area enclosed related to the chord and this is the area that is enclosed related to the arc so in this these are the basic uh, I, uh, concepts of circles first we have seen what a center is with the help of center only we will be able to draw a perfect circle without center it, it, it is not possible to draw a circle right and so we have taken center as o here radius is nothing but the line that we draw from the center to the uh, to any point of the circle is called the radius and that radius is always equal no, if you draw the lines from center uh, to any point in the circle the length will always be the measurement will always be equal now diameter we have discussed very two important points here diameter is nothing but which passes through the center of the uh, circle from one point to another point and it is double the radius 
and it is also called the longest diameter is the longest chord of the circle next what is chord chord is or is like which is just like a diameter which passes from one point to another point but it is not necessary that it has to pass through the uh, center o now arc we have seen how to draw an arc the curve a small part of a circle is nothing but an arc through an arc we have learned what a sector is and through the chord the area we have seen what a segment is so this is all about the circles thank you